and welcome back to my channel. I know a lot of you have been asking me to do another crochet tutorial for many, many years actually probably. I've been absent for a long time but I'm back here today and I'm going to teach you how to do the Neat Wave pattern which is by Attic24. It might also be known to you as the Moorland pattern because she did a blanket that she named Moorland and it was based on a beautiful picture that she had taken of the moors. Um, but it is her neat wave pattern. It's a free pattern available on Ravelry and her Attic24 website. Um, the website has a full tutorial, each step-by-step -step instruction written out with photo prompts as well. Um, but this video is purely if you're more of a visual person and you like to watch a video on how to do it, then this is how you do her wonderful pattern. You're basically gonna be changing between three different size stitches to create the rise and fall of the pattern. I'm using a four millimeter hook in this video and some Stylecraft DK weight yarn. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to be using UK um, crochet terms. So just to clarify at the beginning of the video, because I'll continue in UK after this, a US single crochet is a UK double crochet. A US half double crochet is a UK half treble and a US double crochet is a UK treble. So I'm going to be using the UK terms. Um, and the last thing to note about this pattern is that it is worked in multiples of 10. So if you're doing a cushion cover, you need to chain in multiples of 10 till you get to the right size for your um, cushion cover that's going to fit over that. If you're doing a blanket, you just need to work out how wide you want that blanket to be, but it has to be a multiple of 10. And your starting chain is gonna be that a multiple of 10, whatever you've settled on, plus one. So for example, in the example I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna do a sample piece, nice and quick, just to show you the pattern so you can get a feel for what you do each row. So I'm gonna be chaining 21. So I've got my two multiples of 10, plus one for the starting chain. So without further ado, let's get going. Okay guys, so we're ready to start with our foundation chain if my camera will focus. So I've got my DK weight yarn and my four millimeter crochet hook and we're gonna start by making our slip knot. So I'm just gonna presume you know how to do that but I will do it kind of slowly. So you've got your tail here and you're just gonna leave a good 10 centimeters hanging over and you're gonna wrap it around your finger twice Bring the first one over the second one and then that one back over the first one and drop it off your finger and that is your slip knot. So I'll just pull that tight onto my hook and as I just explained I'm going to start with a chain of 21 and depending on what size you're doing that will depend on what size chain you make. So I'm just going to chain 21 and to chain, oh camera problems, um, you just from the back you're just going to put your yarn over the hook and pull it through so that is one chain two this is very confusing doing it for a camera three four five six seven eight nine 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 and 21. So that is our chain for the start of this sample piece that I am going to do. So you're going to make your chain as long as you need it to for your required project. So next once we've got that we are going to do our foundation row one. So there's two foundation rows and this is the only time we're going to do them at the beginning of the project. After that we're going to go into the four normal rows and they're just going to be on repeat for the rest of the project. So foundation row one in the second chain from your hook you're going to work one double crochet in each chain. So if I can get this to focus, we're gonna ignore this one here. That is the first chain, oops, lost my knot. That's the first chain there, 
we're not going into that one we're going into this one so we're just going to slip it into that first loop yarn over pull through yarn over <laughs> sorry went blank there and pull through and that is your first double crochet and we're going to do that all the way along for a total of in my case 20 but that will be however many multiples of 10 you have decided so that's two three so we've got three single crochet there then we've got four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen and twenty if i can just get that last double crochet in there and that is your first foundation row so you've done your chain and a single row of double crochets next up you're not going to cut your yarn you're not going to change you're just going to turn turn your work so you're looking at the back of that let our towel hang down there and we're going to do our foundation row two which is a start with a chain three one two three and that is going to count as your first treble crochet we're then going to ignore let me see if i can show you better sorry um so if you look at the bottom of that chain three you've just done having a bit of focusing issues here we're going to ignore this stitch at the bottom of that chain three and we're going to go into this one so we're now going to do a half treble into that second top of the second stitch so we'll do a half treble and I should have explained how to do that shouldn't I so we need to do two half trebles so let's do our second one so the chain three counts as our treble we've just done our first half treble in the next stitch and now we're going to do one more half treble so it's yarn over insert into there yarn over again and pull it through and then yarn over and pull three pull through all three loops so so far on our second row of foundation we've got a chain three and then two half treble crochets. We're now gonna do two double crochets. So insert, pull through, and then pull through both. And we're gonna do that one more time. Insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, and pull through both. So we've now got a treble, which was our chain three, two half trebles, and two double crochets. Okay, now we're gonna do one full 10 stitch repeat. So to start, with, so it's gonna be double crochet, double crochet, half treble, half treble, 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 half treble, half treble, double, double. And that sounds really complicated, but I assure you when you get in the flow of it, it isn't. So we've got, just had our do two double crochets there, we're gonna do two more. So double, double, half treble, half treble, treble, which is yarn over, insert, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through two, and we'll do that one more time. So we've got yarn over, insert into the next stitch, yarn over and pull through. So you should have three chains on your hook, you're gonna yarn over again and pull through two, and then yarn over again and pull through two. So that's two trebles. We're gonna do two more half trebles. So that's yarn over, insert, 
yarn over, pull through, and pull through all three. Do that one more time, one more half treble. And now we're going to do our two doubles as such. And then we will have, you, you'd repeat that 10 for as many for the length of your project. So however many um, multiples of 10 you've got, you'll keep going until you have five stitches left. So you'll keep repeating double, double, half treble, half treble, 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 half treble, half treble, double, double and you're just creating this wave. You can already kind of see that it gets taller there and goes back down again. And you're just gonna re keep repeating those 10 stitches until you have five left. And when you get to the last five, you are going to do two more doubles. Two half trebles. and finish on one treble. So just like we started at the treble, uh, started with a treble at the beginning, so we said our chain three would count as a treble, we're now ending on one as well. And that completes your two foundation rows. So we're now gonna remove, move on to round one, um, row one, sorry, and this is gonna be from row one now till row four, this is what we're gonna keep repeating over and over again to get the size of our project. Um, so we're gonna actually yarn over, do a chain and just cut the yarn to change color. So I'll just snip that off and pull the end through and that can be sewn in later or you can stitch it in now which is what I'll probably do and we're going to flip the work so that that cut yarn is now on our right and we're going to be working this way so let me get our next colour to join okay so I've got my next colour that I'm going to join for row one and it's this yellow here and I've made a slip knot I'm just going to put my needle my hook through this first uh, this first stitch hole here if you can see it um, let me move that tail out of the way. So this is our, if you look at the top and you can see all these V's all the way along and I'm going to insert in the first one here, pop my slip knot onto my hook and pull that through. Sorry I did that completely off. So put my hook through the hole, put my slip knot onto my hook and pull it through and that is my yarn colour added. Let's just drop the tail so I've just got the working yarn because I have done that before, just crocheted with tails. So our two tails are over here out the way and I've got my working yarn in my hand ready to go. So row one is going to be chain two. Okay, so we've chained two so that's um, attached that colour onto there and what I tend to do is just actually hold my tails along the top here and they get crocheted and hidden in as you go but I'm going to leave them out of the way for the purpose of this so as not to confuse it because you can sew in your tails however you want. So we've got our chain two that's going to count as our first double crochet. We're then going to do one more double crochet into the next stitch. Okay so that's our two double crochet. Next we're going to do two half trebles so that's one in the top half treble half treble oh not doing a half treble half treble and then we're going to do two trebles so yarn over into the next stitch pull through two pull through two two trebles. Now we're going to go back to our two half trebles, pull through, half treble, pull through, and then we're going to do two doubles here. One, two. Okay, so that's our first ten repeat. So we've got double, double, half treble, half treble, 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 half treble, half treble, double, double. And we're just going to do the same Again, we're going to repeat that 10 and that will finish, as I've only got 20 stitches, that will take me to the end of this first row one. So we're going to do double, 
double. Sorry, I'll move that out of the way because it's affecting the. So I've got my two more doubles, two half trebles. Next one, two trebles. Two half trebles, one, two, and then finishing off with our two double crochets to finish the row. Okay, so I've just finished up with doing my last two doubles here. So there was one in the last stitch, if it will focus, one in the last stitch, and one in the top of, top of our chain three from our foundation round. We're then going to turn our work. Each colour is going to be worked in two rows, just so you know. So this is our row two, so we're going to chain two again. Chain two, that counts, counts as our first double crochet. We're going to ignore that stitch under our chain two and go for the next one. So we're going to do another double crochet there. And then we're going to do our two half trebles. So that's one. And then our next one is going to go, oops, yarn over first. Next one's going to go in there. Then we've got two trebles. One, two, then two half trebles. Two doubles. Oh, no, that's not gone in the wrong right place, has it? Uh, two, two doubles. And then we start that 10 repeat again. So another two doubles. Two half trebles. Two trebles. two half trebles and then finally one last time two doubles so one there and one in this final in the top of the chain two from the last round it's just a bit of a fiddle to get your hook through sometimes I can push it through so we're going to do one more double crochet in the top of the chain two from the previous round. So put a double there. And that completes rows one and two of your repeat. So hopefully you can really see that we're getting our rise and fall here now. We now move on to rows three and four and then you can just use this video to repeat row one, row two, row three, row four, over, over and over again until you have your desired height of your blanket or cushion or whatever it is you're making. So we're gonna just yarn over and pull through and cut the yarn and go to one more color to do rows three and four. Just pull that through to knot it, leave that tail out of the way and we're gonna attach our final color um, for this last bit. Okay, so row three, I've made a snip, slip knot on my finger ready. I'm going to insert my hook into the first stitch here. Put the slip knot onto my hook. Just give that a tighten up just by pulling the tail and pull the loop through. So all my tails are getting a bit messy here now, but we can sew those in later. So I've got my hook pulled through my first stitch and row three is going to begin with a chain three which will count as our first treble. We're now, you may have guessed it if you're starting to see the pattern emerge, we're going to do two half trebles. So one in the next stitch, half, oh, oh, dropped it, start again. One half treble, and pull through that and two half trebles okay and then we're going to do 
our two doubles. So double, double. And then we're going to do two more doubles. We're going to start our 10 repeat. Double, double. Then our half trebles. One, two. And then our two trebles are going here. And then we're going to go back to our two half trebles and our two doubles. And this is where we should find ourselves that we have five stitches left. And in those five stitches, we're going to do two more doubles, two half trebles, and then finish in with a one treble in the top of our chain two from the previous round. So we're going to insert there and do one treble at the end of that row. We're then going to turn our work because we've only done one row in that colour, so we've got our second row to do in this colour. And row four begins with a chain three. And that is going to be our first treble. And we're going to work back along row four in exactly the same way. So we're going to do our half trebles and our two doubles. So one half treble. Two half trebles two doubles and then we're going to do our 10 stitch repeat so double double two half trebles then we've got our two trebles at our tallest point the good thing the good thing about this is you should be able to Kind of tell where you are by the row before because you're always doing two of that stitch. Um, what was I doing? Treble, one more treble, then we've got our two half trebles, two doubles, and that should leave us with our five stitches left. So you guessed it, we're going to do two doubles. two half trebles and then finally a treble in the top of our chain three from the previous round so pop a treble there oops and that completes row four so you're going to repeat the yellow and the blue turquoise rounds over and over and over again row one two three four until you have the desired height of your blanket it's up to you how you want to sew your towels in or whether you want to combine them as you go but that is the neat wave or the moorland pattern by attic 24 um, i hope this tutorial is handy for you just a note for the end, when you have got to the size of the blanket or whatever your project is you want it to be, your final two rows will be, you will repeat row one of the neat ripple pattern and then you'll turn and chain two and then you'll work one double crochet across to straighten it. So just like we did at the beginning on our chain, we did a row of double crochet after your row one of your neat ripple pattern for the last time you will turn chain two and work one double crochet all the way across and that will just straighten the top like it has the bottom and that will complete your blanket or project i hope you enjoyed this video um, i'm sorry if i kept going off i'm kind of trying to stand over my camera my daughter's in the background and it's all just been a bit of a getting back into the swing of things but I hope it made sense and along with the amazing tutorial that Attic24 has out on her blog anyway I'm sure you will be able to get there but yes let me know if there's any other patterns you'd like to see coming up as I'm keen to film some more crochet tutorials and I will work on my setup for next time because I think standing over it is probably not the best because I kept looking at my camera and realizing that my hands were off frame or it was out of focus so 
I'll try and find a better setup for next time. But thank you for bearing with me. It's good to be back teaching crochet and I'll see everyone soon. Bye.